Hello, this is going to be lesson six. It's on page four of your notes. And this lesson is going to be on the special rules for um, division on regarding exponents. So basically, the first thing, first property of exponents that we need to talk about is what happens when I have a negative exponent. <coughs> if I want to get rid of the negative exponent, basically what I have to do is flip the number. If you remember, any number has a 1 underneath. It's kind of invisible. So basically the 1 goes to the top and the a to the m goes to the bottom. Okay, And vice versa, if I have a number with a negative exponent, exponent on the bottom you know, and I want to get rid of the negative exponent, then basically I would flip the b will go to the top and um, it will be b to the n. So let's look at some actual examples here. Here I have x to the negative 2. So basically, I want to get rid of the negative exponents. So I'll write x to the second to, on the bottom. And remember, there's an invisible one. When x negative 2 went to the bottom, that one has to become visible. All right. w to the negative third is on the bottom. So now it's going to go to the top. And I don't have to write a 1 underneath. So basically, it just stays w to the third. because. One on the on the bottom it doesn't have to be written, okay? All right, this one over here I have two to the first, so that means the two stays on top, and e to the negative third. We want to get rid of the negative exponent, so e to the third goes to the bottom. Over here, who's going to flip? The only the one only the one that has the negative exponent. So in this case, it would be y to the fifth. It's going to move to the top and x to the second stays where it is. Alright, let's go on to the next problem. If you'd like to stop the video and try it, this problem is yourself, you can. And then just restart the video whenever you're done. So here are the answers for these problems. Who's going to flip? Only the one with the negative exponent, so that means x to the fifth stays where it is, y to the second moves to the bottom, and since I don't have anything on the, bo on the top, I just put a 1. Okay. Alright, let's go on to the next problems and that will be um, this problem number B, letter B. If you notice, 3 and 2 have positive exponents because there's an invisible one, so they st stay where they are. But the Z and the Y have negative exponents, so they're going to flip. The Z is going to go to the top and the Y is going to go to the bottom. And that's our answer. Okay. Last one is um, there's a d to the negative four, so that means the d to the fourth goes to the bottom, and there's a one on top. All right. Now we're going to talk about division of numbers that have the same base, and what do we do with the exponents? Basically. Um, what we have to do is subtract the exponents. So here, for example, I have 3 to the 8th, 3 to the 5th. 8 minus 5 would be 3 to the 3rd. Okay? And which would be 27. Over here, which one is bigger, 11 or 9? 11 is bigger, so that means that the 3 is going to stay on the bottom. And 11 minus 9 is 2 and I put a 1 on top. Okay? Basically what's happening here behind the pictures is, let's say I have 3 to the ninth. 3 times 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 3. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And on the bottom I'm going to have the 3 11 times. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. What's going to happen is these are going to cancel, 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 cancel. And what am I left with? On the top, I don't have anything, but on the bottom I have 3 to the second. So we put a 1 on top. But instead of having to do all this, we just do 11 minus 9 is 2. Okay? Alright. Also, if you wanted to do 3 to the 9th, so 3 to the 9th divided by 3 to the 11th, right? Technically, 9 minus 11 would be negative 2, 
And what we learned on the few minutes ago is if they have a negative exponent is 1 over 3 to the second. So, to keep it simple, basically just ask yourself, which one has the biggest exponent? The one on the bottom, so 3 to the 11th. 11 minus 9 is 2. So in other words, the 3 stays on the bottom and the new exponent is 2. Alright, let's try these next problems here. Um, I have division and I have multiplication. So basically, let's do the multiplication first. So let's copy the 3 to the 5th. And 3 to the 8th, 3 to the 9th, what do you do with them? You add them. So it would be 3 to the 17th. Oops. I'm sorry. Let me redo this again because you cannot see it. Okay, basically I have a division and a multiplication. What am I going to do first? I'm going to do the multiplication first. So what's 3 to the 8th and 3 to the 9th? It will be 3 to the 17th. Okay, now that I have them, um, will the 3 stay on the top or on the bottom? Well, it will stay on the bottom because 17 is bigger than 5. 17 minus 5 is 12. And you just put a 1 on top. Okay? Alright. Let's go on to the next problem. Alright. <clears throat> the next problem is letter D. And x to the fifth divided by x to the fifth. There's two ways of doing it. 5 minus 5 is x to the zero. And any, any number raised to the zero is one. Or we can just say x to the fifth cancel with x to the fifth. You're left with a one. Okay. Let's do the next one. x to the third divided by x to the first. The x is going to stay on top. And 3 minus 2, 3 minus 1 is 2. The y. 4 is bigger than 2, so that means the y stays on the bottom. And 4 minus 2 is 2. And the z. The 7 is bigger than the 4, so that means the z stays on the bottom. And 7 minus 4 is 3. So that's our new answer. Alright, the next one, I have parentheses, I have negative exponents, so I have a lot of things going on. So, my recommendation is to follow these steps. First, eliminate parentheses. How do we eliminate parentheses? We're going to distribute the 3. So this would be 2 to the 3rd, x to the ninth y to the negative 6, and z to the 12. We do the same process on the bottom to eliminate the exponent. So this would be 6 to the 2nd, x to the 10th, y to the 6, and z to the negative 2. So basically, I did the first step, which is eliminate parentheses. Second step is eliminate negative exponents. So, in this problem we have negative exponent here and over here. So, basically we're going to copy everything the same except for those negative exponents. So, the y to the 6 is going to go to the bottom and z to the 12. On the bottom, everything is the same except for the last one. So let's copy the first ones. And the z to the negative 2 goes up. Alright, so we accomplished the first step, which is eliminate parentheses. Second step, eliminate, eliminate negative exponents. And the third step is to simplify, like we've been doing so far. So, let's take a look. Um, 2 to the 3rd is 8, 6 to the 2nd is 36, so, let me, so this would be 8, and we have 36 on the bottom. Alright, how about the x? The x, 10 is bigger than 9, so that means x stays on the bottom, 
10 minus 9 is 1. The y's are on the bottom, so what do I do with these? I would add the exponent. Same thing with the z. The z's are on top, so I add the exponent. And can I do anything else to simplify this? Yes, I can. I can divide top and bottom of the fraction by 4, and that will become 2 ninths in the z to the 14th, x, y to the 12th. So this would be my simplest form for this particular problem. All right, let's continue on to letter G. First of all, eliminate parentheses. So this would be y to the negative 10. Then it would be 3 to the negative 2. I'm sorry. Negative 2 times negative 5 is positive 10. So it would be y to the positive 10. Got to be careful with those negative signs. Okay, so y to the 10, 3 to the negative 2, and y to the negative 4. Second on our list is to eliminate negative exponents, and we have a couple of them on the bottom. So that means that they're going to go to the top, so it would be 3 to the second. The y to the tenth doesn't move, but the y to the fourth goes up. All right. Now, can I do anything with these? Well, I can combine the ten and the four of the y's. So this would be 9, y to the fourteenth. 3 to the second power is 9. You grab these two, get 14. All right, very good. And now we have the last one here. First order of business, get rid of the parentheses. So this would be x to the 15th, y to the negative 10th, z to the 25th. On the bottom, anything raised to the 0 power is 1. Now, I'm going to flip the ones that have negative exponents, so the x doesn't have a negative exponent, but the y does. So this would be y to the 10th, and then the z to the 25th on top. So that's our answer right there. Okay, so now we're ready to tackle the practice problems. If you'd like to stop the video and try those problems, that's great. And then when you're ready, restart the video to see the answers. All right. Welcome back. This is the practice problem 6.2. Let's see what answers you got. 2 to the 9th divided by 2 to the 7th is 2 to the 2nd. And 2 to the 2nd will be equals 4. We have y to the 1st divided by y to the 4th. That means the y stays on the bottom because 4 is bigger than the invisible 1. So the new exponents would be 3 and on top will be a 1. Okay. Next problem, I have parentheses, so let's do that first. And m to the 5th raised to the 2nd would be m to the 10th times n. And now, I don't have any negative exponents, so let's go ahead and do the division. The m will stay on the bottom because 10 is bigger than 5. And 10 minus 5 is 5. The n is going to go to the top, and the new exponent will be 4, because 5 minus the invisible 1 is 4. And that's going to be our answer. All right, let's go to letter D. 7 is bigger than 4, so that means 3 stays on the bottom. So it would be three, uh, 3 to the 3rd. The 2 to the 5th divided by 2 to the 3rd, 5 minus 3 is 2, and 2 stays on top, because 5 is bigger than 3. And the x will stay, is going to stay in the bottom, because 7 is bigger than four, uh, 3. So my final answer is 4. Uh, 27 x to the 4th. All right, so let's do the next problem now. Let me move this. And here's letter E. All 
Alright, letter E. Um, can I divide 3 by 15? No, I can't, but I can reduce by dividing top and bottom by 3. So this becomes 1 fifth. The x is going to stay on the bottom. It's going to be 6 because 9 minus 3 is 6. And the y is going to be y to the first. And it's going to stay on top because 2 is bigger than 1. All right, next one. We have parentheses. So first order of business, get rid of that parentheses. So that means on top, I'm just going to copy. But on the bottom, I'm going to distribute the exponents. So it'll be 2 to the third, x to the sixth, y to the third, z to the twelve. On a, the next thing on our list is to get rid of the negative exponents. So I have one negative exponent, so let's copy everything else the same. But the negative exponent is going to move to the bottom. Okay, on the bottom I have 2 to the third power. I'm going to go ahead and calculate that as an 8 and just copy the rest. Alright, very well. So I got rid of the parentheses. I got rid of the negative exponent. Now I'm ready to simplify. 4 eighths. I cannot divide 4 by a, but I can reduce the fraction into 1 over 2. Now the x is going to stay on top because 7 is bigger than 6. The z's are going to cancel. And the y is stay in the bottom. And 3 plus 2 is 5. That means my answer is 1x over 2y to the fifth. All right. So let's keep going. Letter G. I have exponents. So let's distribute the exponents. So it'll be x to the negative third, 3 to the negative third. Next thing is to get rid of the negative exponents. And basically, x to the negative third is going to go to the bottom. 3 to the third is going to go to the top. And what's 3 to the third? It's 27 over x to the third. So that's my answer right there. And let's keep going. Our next problem. I'm going to get rid of the parentheses. It'll be 2 to the negative fourth. 8 to the negative fourth, b to the positive 8, because negative 4 times negative 2 is 8, and c to the negative 12. Now, second thing to do is to get rid of the negative exponents. So this guy is going to go down. 8 to the negative 4 goes down to. b to the 8th stays where it is, because it has a positive exponent. And the C goes to the top. The only thing ne next that I can do is solve 2 to the 4th, which is 16. And nobody else cancels, so that's my answer. Okay. And the last problem, anything raised to 0 power is 1. So we like that problem. Okay, so, um, and that concludes lesson number six. Um, so thank you very much for your time, and have a great day.